and we're staying at Mount Field National Park. We're just behind the visitor center and yeah. we're going to do a little walk to Russell Falls, Horseshoe Falls and also the tall trees I think. Shall we be on our way Fulvio? So look at these monsters. These are the giant ash. Wow. Tallest trees in Australia. You find them where? Tasmania. Yeah. This belongs to a good mate of mine. We haven't seen for each other for like, God, I don't know, 40 years. And uh, anyway, his name's Tony, Tony Benson. He's from Port. Anyway, we had the awesome night last night. It's great food in there. He's making a camping area at the back here. So there'll be some free camping at the back. If you're going for a feed at the pub. Awesome, so I don't want to wake him. We got on it last night. But uh, I want to thank him heaps. So if you're coming this way, you know, there's some free camping right behind the pub. Five, or well, probably 500 meters from Mount Field. National Park and 10 kilometers from Medina Bike Park. If you're into mountain biking, Medina, as they call it down there in Tasmania, um, is an awesome mountain bike park. It's a gravity park. You can get shuttled up there. We got there a bit late that afternoon. So they were closing the park and doing some sweeps. So we're gonna have to leave this for another day. It's a bit like Threadbow, maybe more vertical, but no lifts, just get shuttled. So I'm looking forward to going to this next time. So you can hire bikes, all gravity stuff, helmets, gloves, the whole kit. Make your way down to Medina, you'll love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we can't pronounce this name, but I think it's called Tangata Power Station. So we're on the west coast. Well, actually we're heading to Queenstown, Strawn, part of the uh, hydro scheme. We've uh, just, just pulled up for a bit of a pee stop. Pretty hilly around here, so the brakes are on fire. Danger to your own safety. Right, that's an engineering work of art. So a timber pipe. Take the water from last and Jack's to Bronte's Lagoon. You've got to see how far that is, but yeah, it's a long, long way, isn't it? Oh, there are laughing Jack's Lagoon's 10K away. So I don't know Bront how far Bronte is. Wow. Oh, that's incredible. Things you see down here, darling. Wouldn't want to rush too much through here, would you? No, I reckon she'd be pretty slippery, like trying to pull up. Yeah, I'm just driving this thing in manual. I'm on just in second, just using the engine brake, and it's doing its job. The mist is lifting a little bit now. We're getting a bit of a view of the mountains around us. Again, it's spectacular. The way, this way, honey. Oh, this might be a good falls. A fair bit of water flowing, yeah. isn't it? Woo! Bit of rough. Walk in. Yeah. What was the name of the falls, girl? Nelson. Nelson. Let's go. Look at the water. Woo! One thing about when it's raining in Tassie, it pisses down, but it makes the falls incredible. Have a go at the water coming off this thing. Oh, this is impressive. So we're about 10 k's out of Queenstown and we're at Nelson's Falls, which you've just seen. Oh my God, I'm only explaining it because I don't know if you could hear it, but the power that was there after this rain. Anyway, it we, was ballistic. It was insane. So if you get a chance, if you're coming out to Queenstown, whew, that was an awesome falls. Quick it? stop, side of the road, in and out, no time. Down into Queenstown. There's a wicked um, cable train that runs up and down up here too and goes through the gorges. 
Have a look at this mining area. Oh, well, this is Queenstown. Have a look at her. Have a go at that road over there. That'd be sick on a bike. Oh, look at that. So we've gone from the insane beauty of this place to a mining town. Queenstown Station, this is where the old railway line goes. This is a uh, mountain bike area as well now. So it was uh, mined for copper. And what was the other stuff there? Pyrite, which is, helps make sulfuric acid. Just a little bit of street art of the miners in Queenstown. So there's also extensive mountain biking over here called Mount Owen. This is at um, Queenstown. So West Coast Mountain Bike Trails. So they've made, they've put a lot of effort into some trails over here. So if you've got a chance and you bring your bike, and you got want to stretch the legs, this is another place to do it. It's uh, a Sunday morning here in Strawn. We're going to treat ourselves to some stuff today. So uh, we're going to go on that World Heritage Cruise. It's a six hour cruise. I'll tell you more about it later. I don't know exactly what goes on, but we'll find out. But uh, around here, around uh, Strawn and Queenstown, there's heaps of stuff to do. I wanted to go on that Rack and Gorge, but we couldn't get on. So let's we'll come back next time. But whitewater rafting, heaps of stuff to do around here. So anyway, we'll get on this boat, build a cruise around today. I'm pretty sure they supply you a lunch and it's supposed to be a magnificent cruise. So we'll find more about it. I'll uh, report back as the day goes on. Excited, darling? For today, eh? And today. We had a, we're going out through Hell's Gate. It's this tiny little oh. opening here, and then we're going to do a river cruise. Very scenic one, and Sarah Island. Beautiful. Awesome. This is a little luxury, isn't it? This is a bit luxury. This is a little Ooh. luxury. Look at this boat. Top deck. Ready yeah. to ready to roll. Joe spoiling me. So there's two cruises that go out of here, or there might be this little one as well. There's more of the southwest expeditions to more cater for smaller groups. But uh, we decided to go on this red boat. The red boat is a a family-owned business, so all the money stays back in the community. So we decided to go on this one. That one's run by a consortium. Not that we've got anything against that, but try to give back to the the locals, I reckon. Is ready? Yeah. We're not going to drive the boat, but we get to have a look. Look at this. Joe could be the skipper, <laughs> the SS Minnow, and I could be Gilligan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how cool is this? Look out Sarah Island, we're about to crash. <laughs> how lucky are we to be able to come in the wheelhouse? And have a look. Hey? Yeah. I love Tassie. They let you come in and have a bit of a cruise around. Don't touch anything though. Yeah, that's all they asked. No, they actually said you can get in there and. Sit down there. You want to sit down, darling? No. Come on. Be the skipper. Right in the middle. So there's been a few problems getting in and out over the years. Right. So they built that break wall. Yeah. Out here on the left hand side. Look at that. Well, we're heading out through Macquarie Heads or Hell's Gate. Look at this. Hell's Gate. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, well, this is wicked. Look at that. So from that beach out is Antarctica, oh not Antarctica, Argentina, 8,000 kilometers away. They continued lying the rail track along the top, so that wall was completely flat. So they built that? Yep. Break wall. It's completely flat. You look really on top of that. These days you can still see some of the rail track, but it's oh, there's a rail track on top of it. Railway track is just on the top there. Yeah. See it. So that Hello everyone, my name is Guy. I'm going to be your tour guide for the next uh, 
45, 50 minutes or so. Welcome to Sarah Island, British Army and Navy. They weave them together, so it's a much heavier lash to begin with. But then, just to add more pain to the process, the flagellators, the convicts who were in charge of the flogging, they would embed chunks of lead into each of those new strands of the lash. And then, they'd take the lot and they'd soak it in salt water, so that when the leather dried, it became particularly brittle, hard, stiff and crusted with salt. They were literally rubbing salt into the wounds. You know, half a dozen, maybe ten blows of the Macquarie Harbour cat was quite likely to open up a man's back to the bone. It was a brutal, brutal impact. Just in case you didn't hear that because of the wind, we just had a tour of Sarah Island. Wow. That was, had, yeah. yeah. That's incredible. It was really good. Guy, who was our tour guide, told the story of Sarah Island, the history of it. Amazing. And it is an amazing history. It is. It is. It is indeed. Oh, I'm very big kingdom now. Not that How cool is this? Heading up the Gordon River. Mm -hmm. On this tour, we got to step off, and get into the broad heritage areas of the uh, Franklin Gordon. National Park. That was the end of an awesome day, wasn't it? Huh? That was an amazing day. We've got a play to go through the night. Yes, to learn about the boat that the convicts stole, the last boat built on Sarah, Sarah Island. Island. Alright. So we're going to duck in and watch the ship that never was. Okay, so we're at Strong and we're in the longest running play in Australia. It's been running for 29 years. And it's about the last ship that was built on Sarah's Island that travelled, oh well, got stolen by convicts that travelled to all the way to Chile and then we'll find out what happened after that. Yeah. We have a right to escape on a ship of our making. Liberty! Oh, oh damn! damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak up on him and jump him while he's down the Don't jump on our insurance doesn't cover us bad. <laughs> Sneak up to a nice safe 1.5 metres. <laughs> Threaten him with your belaying, that's about five foot in your money. Threaten him with your belaying, kids, alright? Yeah. Scare the living tar out of him. Right, now you come on the front of there, hang on, and you come on, hang on, hang on, hang on. When you go, you come on the front of there, you come on the front of there. If you reach him at the same time, it's going to look all the more theatrically effective. You know what I'm saying? Alright, now, the orchestra standing by, it parrot. You've got to squawk when they get to him, okay? Yeah. Uh, all right, Mr. Barker, can you be unawares, please? Yep, well done. All right, I'll be right behind you, lads. Off you go. Ba -da. Ba -da. Ba -da. Ba -da. Right down the ah! Ah, Well done, lads. We caught you unawares, didn't we, Mr. Barker? Captain Hoy. Please, do you Wasn't that an unreal that play? That was so good. I've unreal. Never... Well, yeah. Now we know what happened to the Fred. Well, one last treat. We're going to this view 42 bar and restaurant. It's a full seafood buffet. And a view. Oof. Thought I missed the sunset there for a bit. It's not too bad, but is it? So we're heading up to Zian, and in the distance we've just left Strawn, there's the Hell's Gate lighthouse that we went through at Macquarie Harbour last night and yesterday. Look at that beautiful coastline. It's pretty calm today, but look at that. Beautiful. Another great day in Tassie. Well, we've pulled up at Zian, another mining town back in the day. So some, some locomotives here and there's a great little coffee shop. There's a mountain bike track just up the road. 
mining industry is uh, gone now. It's cool to come and visit some of these places. Put a bit of money back in by just buying a coffee or a pie, which we're doing. So we're, we're at Stanley and we're walking to the nut and the chairlift's closed because it's too windy and it's a short, steep 430 metre climb. Oh, away we go. And we're trying to get to the boat to go home. Woo. Can you hear me breathing? Here we go. There's more to go. All right, keep going. It's a township of Stanley. We're about halfway up the nut, and I think we're nuts. Anyway, this chairlift there is closed today because it's too windy. I worked on those things about 30 years ago, and I wish it was open right now. <laughs> Come on, darling, breathe. Come on. Breathe. Come on, you old fart. There, a two-seater fixed chair. Oh, that would have been a pleasure. What a wicked spot, eh, darling? So this nut, what was it, darling? A volcanic plug. Oh, a volcanic plug. Oh, <laughs> hopefully someone uh, there knows what a volcanic plug is. <laughs> right, uh, let's keep going. Nearly there. Right, now we're going to go to Rocky Cape Lookout. We're at the Stanley Cheek Point. Yes, go Rocky. Rocky Balboa. You can do it. You can do it. Holy clap, this is Bass Strait. Have a look at it. From the top of the uh, lookout at Stanley. I don't know if you're down here. I've been crossing back over there tonight. Joe's doing some prancing. That's dancing. Can you hear that wind? Woo. Woo. One more look at this beautiful bay in the town of Stanley. It's pretty cool, eh, Dark? It's beautiful. Really good. Very cool. That was a great walk. Yeah, awesome walk. Looking back over west, you can see the van down the bottom. All this today done. So 17 days on Tassie. Uh, we've got one week to go, but um, yeah, we're just about to get on. We're in line now to get on the Spirit of Tasmania again. Did you say 17 days or 17 weeks on Tassie? It was 17 days. I'm pretty sure I said 17 days. Oh, wish I wish it was 17 weeks. <laughs> anyway, we're um, we've had a ball, haven't we? We've had uh, a great time. So we'll we'll catch you back on the mainland, um, and we'll do a week getting home. So see what we get up to once we get to Geelong, which will be the first time that we're going to be landing in Geelong from the ferry, it is. instead of from Port Melbourne. All right, guys. Talk soon. Ciao.